So it's loud as hell in here because the air compressor's going and ain't shut off for about 30 minutes because I've been running my uh, little whirly whoo gasket taker off her aluminum killer on the head. So I already got the motor done, you know, killed that already. It's ready to go. It'll get another cleaning before I put stuff together. But I've been running on the heads, got them all cleaned out, and uh, they'll be ready to go. I'll get them outside and get them cleaned out too. Then I gotta get all them valves out of there. It's right now, it's Tuesday, the 20th, I think. So I have nine days before I leave for No Name Nationals. I got my cam in, <clears throat> which by the way, again, sent UPS, missing the receipt, been retaped. Luckily, the timing chain and the cam are both in there. I still gotta call Jags and have a little word with them that anything comes to me, it will not be UPS. If it does, I'll send it back and I'll buy my business elsewhere. I'm not kidding. I do not want anything UPS sent to my house. They've done ruined enough of my crap. And this time I'm missing my receipt. There was no padding in it. It was reopened. Yeah, don't use UPS, trust me. I'll have to call Jags and remind them that. I am waiting on uh, a few things at O'Reilly's I need. I got all my gaskets except for my head gaskets. They're coming in a timing gasket. Then I got the cam, I got the gears. I'm waiting on the rings, the mains, <clears throat> the rod bearings. And I ended up, I had time since I'm, I went ahead and ordered uh, new comp cam springs to go with this camshaft I bought. Uh, and all the fixings to go on it. It's not money I needed to spend. It's not money I wanted to spend, but I'm already this deep in this motor. I'm not half-assing this. I mean, there is half-assing, and what I do is half-assing, but I'm not going that far. I don't need to be leaving valves in the pistons and, you know, all that crap. So uh, I got those coming. They'll be here Wednesday or Thursday, which is fine. That's perfect. Uh, by the time I get off work, I'm gonna have to do some more cleaning on these heads. It's gonna take me a while to lap all these valves. I'm gonna have them apart anyway. Just do it. It don't take much. I'll try to show you that. If I don't show you in here, go back to the 400 Pontiac engine build. It's a horrible video, but it shows you how to do it. There's plenty of things out there that show you how to do that. I don't do them by hand, I do them with a drill. That's how I, I used to do them by hand, and I was talked to a guy by a very good mechanic. He said, why are you doing it with your hands? Do it with the damn drill. So it's hectic, the air compressor's running. I work 12 hours a day, I'm coming home. I still gotta go to Menards, I gotta pick up some stuff. Uh, but I gotta clean these heads. And I was hoping to clean the garage a little bit, but I don't even have time for that. Then I still gotta pull the motor out of Blanche. But it's sitting right out front here, right there. She's right there, all I gotta do is pull her forward. I'm gonna pull that damn engine hoist over here, take the hood off, we're gonna pull her out, put it on the back of the pickup, move it out of the way back that damn hoist back in here, grab this new motor, shove her out there on my metal again, we'll stick her down in there, break the cam in, piss off the neighbors, get the cops called, bada boom, bada bing, we got a running ranchero. I'll get back to you in a bit. Out of gas. Great. Heads are clean. Me, not so much, but they're clean. Okay, started to take the head part. Uh, yeah, it's still wet. I don't care. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute because it's not final clean and I'm going to clean it up better. There's still things on it, but 
the crap is off of it, all the shit that the mice left inside there. <sighs> Don't leave your exhaust uncovered or your goddamn carburetor, please. That's just how it is. Anyway, I took the, you can see the exhaust or the, I believe it's the exhaust ones here. You can see them fairly easy through here. The intake one's a little bit curved, whatever. So I decided to take one of these intakes off and the seat of it here where the where the valve you know where you grind them where it hits the head the sealer off yeah that part uh this one not bad it would have survived but we're gonna do it anyway and completely the wrong way so everybody can get mad i took that valve spring off there and this just kind of you know there's your oil seal whenever you start her in the morning and it's got oil in it you guys that don't know, that's what it is, this umbrella seal. The Pontiac has O-rings. This one has umbrellas, kind of like Chevy's have umbrellas. There's a bunch of different kinds, okay? There's a bunch of different kinds. So let me take one more off. I'll show you how to do it. And then I'm gonna show you how I mark it in case you didn't watch my other video. That way you know how I was taught to do it. After I did it the original way, with the old lapper with the hand, this is a lot easier. Let me get a cigarette smoke so then you take this here right here this is you know some tools i do have but i do a lot of, i do my own heads so i'm not playing around with all that junk stuff i went ahead and got this one i think this is a northern i don't remember it's not marked but i got it oh this one's a craftsman okay i thought this was a northern tool company this one's actually a craftsman it's got to be older, too, because this one's still made like it wasn't sold at Kmart and Sears. Anyway, let me show you here. Let me get you down. I hope. There we go. Oh, no. God damn camper. There we go. All right, let's do this exhaust one. See, first you set this thing. You get your perfect, maybe, to where it's this little edge thing. Let me show you. This goes around your, your keeper or your valve. This goes in the very center of your actual valve, the seat part. So you got one, this goes over the spring, this goes in the center of the valve, and you just clamp her together. Now you will have to adjust this to your keeper. Now see how that, it, it ain't gonna pop up right there. This spring ain't popping. So what you do is you get that as tight as you can possibly get it, you know, without killing yourself now, and you just tap on the top. Boom, just like that. Then you can crank it the rest of the way and watch your fingers. A lot of times I use a little screwdriver for doing this, but I'll show you. You can move this thing up or down. There's one of them coming out real easy. And there's the other one, just like that. And you set them somewhere where you'll lose them. I'm not reusing those, by the way. I got all new springs and things. So basically I'm just tearing apart to clean. I need to get all the valves clean. So. Then you take your hands, got this little lever right here. You squeeze it in, pull up, and she'll open out. And you can take it off your spring. It just pulls out just like that. That's an original. Still has the original colors on it from the factory. Said this motor only had 64,000 miles on it, but it was not taken care of. And here's your umbrella seal. This one's actually still on it right here but watch this oh that one's still good dang I maybe reuse that i'll save that all right then you can just push these out but don't force them because you got to you know your valve guide in there you'll tear it up now look at that exhaust that is from moisture and condensation outside getting up through your exhaust into your exhaust valve and into the head and not only will this look like this, well, so will the cast iron inside the head. Let me show you. Okay, so I got both valves out. Now, the exhaust was shut. Oh, my light died. Okay, fine. Let's just do it that way. There we go. See how that in there? There's like a... I don't know what that is. Something got in there, but whatever. It's nothing. So I got to get in there and clean all that out and look in that one. Look at all that rust in that intake valve. 
And look at this. Look at that valve seat. It is black and corroded. So yeah, I have to go through all these heads. This motor was absolutely neglected. Neglected. This is what happens, guys, if you're watching. If you've got a motor that's sitting out there and I'm going to get to that someday. Yeah, this is what happens right here. These parts are getting hard to find. Yeah, these are only 2V Cleveland heads. And I'm going to kill a bug here in a second. Look at that. That's a big one. Uh, these are only 2V heads. Not that important to high performance guys, but somebody like me who just wants to get them running, burn tires off and make loud noises and piss off neighbors and cities and, you know, show up to no-name nationals in a pretty damn cool old friggin' car. They're a pain in the ass. So... I got to get two of these. I'm just going to go at it, start taking them all off, all the valve springs. I'm not reusing them. I got all new valve springs, keepers, and everything for this motor. This motor is going to be like brand new, except for, you know, it wasn't bored. By the way, what I forgot to tell you the rest a little while ago, I called my buddy Dean at Effinghammer Grinding. And since I'm going to have to do this, I ain't going to have time to do my little white trash with the damn shoestring and all that. I called him, he's leaving on vacation Thursday, but he stayed over, let me drop that damn crank off, and he's gonna take it and polish it in the morning. And it's, believe it or not, perfect. It's in spec. Unbelievable. After he polishes it, it'll lose a little bit, but not enough to worry about to have to be ground or anything like that. He already checked it all and let me know. So, let's get the rest of these off. Pain in my ass these are too, you know? Everything wants to work, not work. Got a damn camera and that. Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? Maybe? No? No? Yeah, well, how about there? Let's just go with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. One more thing. I'm going to mark the side of the head that this is, I'm taking them out. I'm marking the side of the head, okay? Okay? Now I'm going to mark the same mark I put on the head on here, and then I'm going to push the valves through. And I'm going to lay them up here, and they're going to sit there after I get them all cleaned and ready. That way I can lap them, and I'll show you how to do that. Then we'll get back to it. Okay? Good. Jingle bells. Add one. The intake valve was sticking. Yep. One intake valve was sticking. All right. Well, it won't be sticking when I'm done with it. All right, I had one intake valve that was sticky. So right there, if I would have ran that without taking that out, that could have possibly ruined that guide. Other than that, it, it seemed pretty okay. 
all the guides are tied. Everything slid in and out other than that one, but I ain't worried about that. We'll take care of that problem. I did get these pretty clean, except for the gasket surface here where the where the uh, valve cover, you know, molded itself. But I'm going to lap all this, and then I'm going to re-clean this and make sure I get a double check, all that shit. So we ain't worried about that. Now I'm just going to clean up these valves in the old bench whirler. And then uh, I can turn them over and figure out the best way to do this. We're all lap these valves. I'll show you how to do it. All right. Here's what she looks like. That's an exhaust. Safety glasses. I didn't have a 0.2222222225 horsepower dragger because I'm a cheap bastard. Let me get to the wall. Idiot. There. One clean exhaust valve. Unfortunately, this is an intake valve that I cleaned. Look at that right there. Got a nice little chunk. Well, guess what? We don't have time to buy a valve. So, we're going to have to try to lap that out and get her to seat as best possible. That's, again, that's, that's what you get, guys, right there. Let your car sit. That's what you get. I'm gonna get to that someday. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, boss. This exhaust valve, I don't know if I said intake earlier, but this is exhaust. There's a difference, huge difference. Intake, exhaust, like massive difference. This one here, this exhaust valve has a hell of a divot out of it. 
I don't know what that's from. Something got down the intake, I suppose. So we're going to see if we can't. I don't know. I ain't really going to have a choice. I'm going to have to run it. I know. I'm going to get all kinds of hell. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I've done this a million times. Half the motors out there, this is how I redid the heads. There ain't, there ain't a one car out there that ain't got the original heads from the motor. That's it. Okay. This thing is pretty ratty. Try it. See what happens, I guess. Be right back. So before you lap these valves, you need to clean out everything, and these work great. They're cheap, O'Reilly's. I think they're like three bucks. Put them on your drill. You know. So let me turn you hitch down. And I'll show you how to do it the wrong way, the right way. Take this thing here, clean out the whole worthless open chamber. Just get it all cleaned out. Don't matter if you hit the valve seat area, because, you know, you're going to be laughing. And just don't run it, you know, metal to metal, for God's sake. Just clean out the inside. Clean out the valve seat. That way you ain't trying to lap that shit out. Whoop! I did get the edge right there. That's as clean as it's going to get, right there. Said this is a filling station build. People just said, here, fix my car. And they do it. Didn't matter how. Didn't matter if I had scratches here, scratches there. You got the goddamn car going. That's what we're doing. And that's back when they rebuild a motor for next to nothing. It didn't hardly cost you. I mean, it was still a lot, but goddamn. Wasn't nothing like today. Woo. I got nothing against shops. Only the ones that try to screw you. Try to get up in there. Yeah, yeah. And I've had one try to screw me. Sent me a bill for $900. I sent a letter back saying, shove it up your fucking ass. That was for the rear end and the javelin. Yeah, they still tried to charge me. You can go back and watch that. Those water. I am going to wash these out again before I put them back together because I need to get in the daylight and put some purple power down these, all the water jackets, because they are terrible. And I'll still clean this up a little better. You can see it's surface rusting. It's fine. I'm going to get it off there. Come on again. What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. Piss off. Look at that. Well, let me uh, flip her up here because not only that, you got to look in here. That's plenty dirty, but I think we can get that out with just spraying it. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. It'll be all right. Some of this is just going to have to blow out as we go. That's all good. That's all good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just... The main thing you want to look out for, oh look, I'm bleeding. Cut myself with a knife last night, my brand new knife, and now I'm bleeding. Great. Hold on. Find a rag in this mess. Make me bleed my own blood. Alright, so one thing you gotta worry about, guys, is your intake side. You don't want anything sitting here because these are your runners come down here and any kind of restriction is going to restrict, you know, restrict fuel flow, just like it sounds. So you just want to make sure these are good and half-ass clean. Clean as you can get them unless you want to do a whole fork job, but I ain't doing a fork job. I'm doing a jerry rig job. Just get all the loose crap. I didn't show this in my video on the Pontiac. I didn't think it was important. I didn't know what I was doing as far as camera work and trying to show you guys something. Just inspect it. Make sure you got all the crud. 
especially on the intake side. The exhaust side, it'll blow right out, you know. Let's get the intake, intake side done real nice. As nice as you can. Okay, so that's done. Now you just stick the valves in and go, right? Wrong. Let's see. What's the best way to do this? Looks like. Clip, clip. Clippy, clip, clip, clip. Side goes in here. Don't go jamming these in either, because the idea is you want oil on this first. Yep, let me just look at something here real quick. Yep, no, no restrictions. Okay. Alrighty, let me find some valve lapping compound. What the hell did I do? Oh shit. I thought I had a whole nother bottle of this. Hmm, let me get a minute. Found it. So, let me show you how I do it, put it on, then I'll do it. Show you again. Battery dead, freaking course. That sucker hurts. Anyway, let's start with this here exhaust valve. Now, Shit, hold on. Right. Got some oil around here. You gotta have oil. I thought I had some oil. All right, so I got some motorcycle oil. I might have another thing of that. Oh, there's 30 weight. That'll work. Crap oil. Detergent is oil. So what you want to do, if you take your valve, swash her around in here. That way you got oil on the valve like a such. You want to make sure you got some kind of oil, just like that, okay? But before you, you can do it a couple different ways. Get that out of the way. You can do it a couple different ways. I like to get oil on it like I showed you. And then you just take your valve grinding compound and I probably use too much, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing if you do for what you're doing. This one's pretty bad anyway. Look like a monkey doing a football here, but I'm trying to do it on camera. There, you're getting lapped up. Set that down in the dirt so it gets all in it. Make sure you got plenty of oil on this thing because you don't want to run it in your valve guide without it. Stick it through your valve guide. Let me let me readjust. I'll readjust again. There, can you see me? <laughs> right here. Right here. Now stick this through your valve guide, right? And put it all the way in. Then we gonna take our drill, get rid of that. We're gonna open this sucker up all the way, put it on the valve. We're gonna tighten it up, just like that. I don't know if you can get in there. I'll do this, hold on. Okay, so you can see all the goop on the valve, drills through, hooked to it. Now you don't need to go crazy, y'all. You just give her a little bit of gas, hear it? Let me show you from the back. About that speed. You can hear it. You don't leave it on there forever because you overheat it. You can see it, the grit starts to go away. Like that right there. Okay, that's where you stop. Then, let me set you up here. Can you see me now? Good. So then you'll undo it nice and easy. The thing is you don't want to get any of the grit inside your valve guide. So make sure you don't. Take my bloody rag here. I'm gonna wipe it off. 
see how this one looks. This is the worst one. It's the only bad one, really. Okay. So you can see where she's hitting. Right there. I hope you can see that. Um, I think we're going to be okay. We'll give this one a couple more goes. And uh, we'll call it good. I'm not even going to worry about that one. I'll wipe it off so we get fresh stuff in there. But it don't matter. Completely stupid way to do it. And that's taught by one of the best mechanics in the area. Make fun of me all you want. He knew what he was doing. I probably would have never thought of doing it this way, you know. Again, don't get any of this stuff on your thing. You can hear it squishing around. Giving it some oil. Okay. This is another way to do it. Stick it in there. Make sure you got no grit. And where's my good... Here. Here. I'll set you down here. I'm going to just spin this. Like such. Just get some on it. It'll spread. Like I said, I probably used too much, but that's just the way it goes. Set it all the way in there. I'm gonna put the drill in it. Oh, wrong way. Tighten her up. Nice and easy. Make sure you give her some room to move. And then camera decided to kill a battery. Let's see if we can get you in there. Too fast. Right there. This is a tedious goddamn process, but I did have a choice here. That ought to be good. That valve should be done. Boom. Still gliding smooth. And we get us a rag. Get you back up here. I'm not going to show you every one of these because I don't have time to sit here and explain everything to you people. Self-explanatory anyway. You don't need to use one of them hand things. Half the times they won't stick anyway. This is just the easier way to do it. You ain't going to bend nothing. Just make sure you got oil on this. Okay? Even if you're going to do it with your hand thing, you got to put oil on the valve stem. You know, like... Yeah. Just make sure you got oil on the valve stem. I ain't worried about getting this crap all over it now because these are going to get all washed off. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, it needs washed off, but... I got myself a nice clean seat. It's not the best, but it'll work. There's one spot right there. But we're going to go with it. We don't have a choice. Okay? So there's one. I can show you this one here and then we're done till I get all these done. Okay? Well, maybe. It's dark. See? It's a good looking seat. If I had a new valve, it would be great. But I don't have a new valve. Then I'm not getting one. What do you think about that? Well, there's one valve lapped head. It took me about 15, maybe. 20 minutes. I went back over too because I wasn't real sure the one that had the chunk. It's fine. The seat, that is actually under the seat. Ain't gonna hurt a thing. More than likely at one point, since I'm doing so much on this build, it's gonna be basically a brand new engine. Uh, I'll probably try to find some better heads for this thing. Maybe, you know, some aluminiums and a different intake maybe a performer or something like that, since I'll be able to put one on there with four V heads. Because these are two V. There's a difference. I don't care what anybody says. There is a difference in that intake. That's why that intake says 400, because it's built for two V heads. But if you want to put 
an Edelbrock intake just on these heads like that they make for Cleveland's will work. They're totally different port size. I think, pretty sure. I don't know. I'm probably friggin' wrong. I don't care. I'm, I'm tired. One head's done. I just got to clean these up. I'm going to get in them water journals a little better. But, uh, there's plenty of garbage inside there. What do I do with my damn screwdriver? Hello. There you are. Oh, yeah. Hear that? Need to. And there ain't no getting that out of there without hot tanking it. That ain't happening. So, just get in and get the hardest shit that I can. The easiest. I've already inspected the whole thing. There's no cracks. There's no nothing. She's just fine. One head done. I'm not going to show you the next one. You just have to assume. I may have to wait till tomorrow because it is. Yeah, it's only 830. Let me do this. I got to clean up the, the main caps. Clean up the pistons, get all the piston rings off. So I have this thing all ready to go. When my parts get here, I just throw them on, put the motor together. Decree the cam? Nope. Plastic gauge? Nope. Watch it run. The heads are ready for final cleaning. We're just waiting on the springs and all the stuff. We gotta clean the pistons. Am I cleaning the pistons on the bench grinder? You bet your ass I am. Seven of them. This is number eight, but I'm pretty sure it's number uh four. It only sounds like I'm pushing hard, this thing has no power whatsoever. I don't even think I'm going to clean these, I'll just throw them right in the way. Clean. 
And that's that. Oh, take it easy, buddy. Been doing it for years. It's fine. It's about uh, 10 after midnight. So now it's officially Wednesday, the 21st. Yeah, I got myself a little dirty. Hmm. A little crap all over. Anyway, the heads, one there, one down there. Wait, parts should be in tomorrow or Thursday. I, I know that I already have the, the valve seals. I have everything I need except the springs, the new springs and uh, keepers and locks and all that crap. So I got a bunch of stuff cleaned tonight. That was the idea. I want everything clean and ready. Uh, I got the pistons clean, but I still got to do inside the oil ring. But I'll do that before I do a final good clean and put the rings on them. And I'm going to clean up in here. Trust me, it's not going to look like this. I'll probably put plastic down when I do the motor. I'm not a complete idiot. It is dirty in here. But uh, nah, you know what? I probably won't. But uh, I got all this clean. The block's clean. Timing cover's clean. All my mains clean. Probably shouldn't be laying like that. Don't care. Push rods are all cleaned inside and out. And my rockers are still soaking because they are nasty. So those are going to take me longer than the heads probably. But yeah. And then I'm going to clean up that cover there, that, that plate. And a few other little things, but main part of the motor got the hiccups main part of the motor is done all my rings and cam bearings i can do that tomorrow flip this sucker over and get the cam bearings in tomorrow evening my crank will be done i can have amber maybe go get that for me if not if Bino will sit and wait on me when i get home i should be home about the same time but i'll do another final clean on this and then i'll get the the mains and the, the you know first i get the cam bearings in then i'll get the you know everything else from there cam bearings first uh i gotta get the pan clean gotta figure out which manifolds i'm gonna use thought about buying headers but i ain't got time uh but everything's come together well <sighs> nothing like a mad dash at the end right all right, let me get my other stuff. I, I may make this into one great big long one. We'll see. If I get my stuff in, it's mad. I mean, it really is a mad dash. It's now Wednesday, so tomorrow night. That leaves me Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Basically, because I still got a couple things I got to do to Artemis. And I still got to get the motor out of her. So, yeah, got that going. We're going to try, man. This is, uh, I've never done one this fast, you know, like this. I have done them this fast, but this is, I'm tired. That's what I'm saying is I'm freaking tired. So anyway, 